those rates being so high now for so long have just frozen the housing market. And I think that is one of the big reasons when people feel uneasy is the price of rent and in particular to try to buy a home. And it is so ridiculously high right now. And unfortunately for Biden, it doesn't look like the rates are going to start to be cut until this summer. It is hard for Joe Biden, the Democrats, despite record high stock market, basically record low unemployment. There are some good things going on in the economy, but there's some very, very bad things like the inflation, like interest rates that you mentioned. Consumer debt, credit card debt is another big one. But you know, I've studied a little bit the the inflation in the 70s, which was called stagflation. And if you look at the presidential races throughout those years, now, obviously, Nixon had his own problems. And then Nixon resigns. Ford comes in. Ford pardons Nixon, which politically wasn't great for Ford. But I also think that there was just change in every single election there. If you look at from Nixon to Ford, Ford loses to Carter, Carter loses to Reagan. And then the inflation really didn't get in check until the first year after after Reagan. So the reason I bring this up is I think when there's inflation that that punches people in the mouth every single day, they usually vote for change. We saw that in the 70s. And even though it's clearly better now because inflation was at about 9%, whatever it was. And if you want to say three, four, and you want to say, okay, they're cooking the numbers a little bit, it's it's not perfect. It's clearly better than it was when it was at 9%. But still for, for Joe Biden, I do think it's much harder for him to really point to the economy and the stock market when inflation continues to just smoke the the general population on a daily basis. 